Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to remove the bloatware from your Samsung Galaxy S4. Before you begin, you must be rooted in order to do this procedure. If you're not, you can head to our How to Root the Samsung Galaxy S4 procedure by clicking on this link here. Finish that and then once you're done, you can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, on your device, you're going to go to the Play Store. So hit Apps, hit Menu, Play Store, and then you're going to search for No Bloat. And you'll find No Bloat, the free version. You're going to tap on that, and then you're going to install that. Then open it up. And if it asks you for super user permissions, make sure you select remember this always or forever or whatever it may say, and then click OK and grant it permissions. Once you get past that little pop-up, you're going to click on system apps. And you're going to basically just go through this list and pick any apps that you don't want to have on your device. Uh, for example, let's say the AT&T Hotspots app. Tap on it, click backup and delete, and click OK. Now what this does is this backs up the app um, and also deletes it off of your phone. But we wanted it to back it up uh, just in case because if you're deleting some of these apps, some of these might actually pertain to some features that you might want like AirView and um, the other type of things that Samsung has put on the device. So we do this, um, that way we can kind of play around with the device before we actually delete it completely. Uh, just in case it's something we want to keep, we can go into this section in a second I'll show you and actually restore those apps. So in the meantime though just keep going through all of these apps you don't want. Keep tapping on them, hitting up back and delete, back up and delete and click OK. Once you've got all of those apps done, uh, play around with the device and make sure that it hasn't affected any of the features that you want to keep. And then you can come back into No Bloat uh, and once you're sure that you want to get rid of something click on backed up apps. And then you can click on the actual app itself and click delete backup and click OK. This way now it'll free up the internal storage so you don't, um, so you can get more internal storage. Uh, but do keep in mind that once you click that, it's a pain in the butt to try to get this app back. You have to scour the internet for the APK, find it, download it, install it. So just be sure that it's an app you don't want and it's not affecting any features that you want to keep before you do this part. Other than that, enjoy. Thank you.